Jonathan left a legacy in basic education, Oshomole speaks. With huge investment in basic education system and the result thereof, the former Edo State Governor Adams Oshomole has acknowledged that the former president left a legacy in the education but was perhaps mismanaged or mishandled after his exit. Ushomole said the establishment of Amajiri schools across Northern State was a major landmark policy that was designed to pull millions of Amajiri children out of the street and return them to classrooms for human capital development. In his remarks at the media edition of Momeria Lecture in honor of late Captain Idarosa in Abuja on Saturday, assured Jonathan that he will be greatly remembered for all the good things he did for Nigeria during his time as the president. He said, you tried your best and left good legacies. Nigeria is not in short supply of good and transformational policies, but all we lack is the political will to do things that will improve the standard and course of living in Nigeria. He, however, confirmed that politics was responsible for the failure of Jonathan to be re-elected in 2015, and people should accept that fate, and also commended him for coming to deliver the memorial lecture in expression of his love and friendship for the late captain, Idaosa. He encouraged the family of the late captain to continue the good works of their late father and possibly surpass him. So guys, what's your take concerning this? Oshomole said the establishment of Amajiri schools across Northern State was a major landmark policy that was designed to put millions of Amajiri children out of the street and return them to classrooms for human capital development. In his remarks at the media edition of Memorial Lecture in honor of late Captain Idarosa Okombo in Abuja on Saturday, he assured Jonathan that he will be greatly remembered for all the good things he did for Nigeria during his time as the president. He said you tried your best and left good legacies. Nigeria is not in short supply of good and in transformational policies, but all we lacked is the political will to do things that would improve the standard and cost of living in Nigeria. He, however, confirmed that the politics was responsible for the failure of Jonathan to be re-elected in 2015 and people would accept that fate and also commended him for coming to deliver the memorial lecture in expression of his love and friendship for the late Captain Idarosa. He encouraged the family of the late Captain Idarosa Okombo to continue the good works of their late father and possibly suppress him. <laughs> so why is Oshomole telling us all this? This is unnecessary now. This is a necessary story. After he participated in the pulling down of Jonathan's government. Anyway, Dr. Jonathan has said that when the time comes, he will be remembered. Nigerians are remembering Jonathan every day. This man talk with both sides of his mouth. I pity those that listen to him these days. If you follow this man, it is one way ticket to hell. God knows Jonathan was passionate about Nigeria, but bad people did not want him. Jonathan is one of the best things that had ever happened to Nigeria. Adams Oshomole has become an unstable, dubious character. Did you remember this single achievement of Jonathan in the build up to the 20 2015 election? So, what are you telling us? I thought you told us that Jonathan did and cannot do anything they are all heading to her more reason why nigeria is not working they know all policies said by jonathan 
but they use lies and deceit to deceive uh, gullible Nigerians. Now, they are all seeing it. See, life. When Jonathan was president, Shomale did not acknowledge any good thing in him. I can appreciate the confession of one of your sins now. May God forgive you in Jesus' almighty name. Shomale is gradually farting Buhari that he rushed every day to meet in Asuruk when he was APC national chairman. Why don't did you why don't you tell Buari to do things right and continue with basic educational legacy of Jonathan? You were among those that called Jonathan all kinds of names and lied against him back then. You will reap your double portion of what you sowed. So what legacy is APC living? A legacy of insecurity, a calculated destruction of the university system, and a deliberate uh, uh, whatever thing they are doing. We will do way to reject APC and whatever it stands for. Shomale, you are not in position to talk this because you are among those who force Jonathan out from office. I said, so guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.